just started to rain a little bit so i'll just show you these ones outside real quick and i can shut the garage these are my 395 watt solar panels i have a total of four pallets each pallet has 30 in them and so i have a total of 120 pallet or uh single individual um solar panels for this giant array which is about to go in that barn just started raining again we had about a month of no rain and of course when they came to deliver it yesterday the inevitable happened they couldn't drive down the road because my road turns into a hot mess we did have one casualty all the deliveries actually came really clean nothing was damaged from what i could tell this box they had set something on top of and they had scraped i think the pallet forks across the tops of the panels no real damage to the panels from what i can tell we'll check on that but when we did load oh this guy's not even gonna want to let me open it anymore when we did load this pallet into the back of my truck the hand truck caved in my bed a little bit so i'll have to put some nut certs in here and here and pull that guy back up but all in all pretty successful delivery it took 10 hours because it was torrential downpour and there were nine original pallets that were delivered for all of the solar equipment and in that now in that nine pallets some of them had to be broken apart because my tractor has a limit of 1600 or so pounds that it can lift up with the forks so the batteries which each one of these uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries is 300 pounds and each one of these pallets had not only the three batteries but all of these um, what are the conduit boxes for being able to attach them all to each other and to the actual inverters those are the inverters over here but I have nine batteries so these guys here and by the way these are really heavy so if you're planning on putting these in somewhere get a friend to help you lift that up I had to lift that one up because it was pushed to the back of the bed of the truck and my forks couldn't reach it so I had to lift it up and set it on there and I realized afterwards how heavy that was when my shoulder reminded me the next morning um, one of the pallets I had to disassemble of the solar panels um, and then when we did that the box was compromised a really interesting feature of the way that these are actually stored in shipment is that the panels themselves are stored vertically and that's why i've made small stacks i assume they know something that i don't which is you don't want that weight to be on any one section or side and have it crack a panel so if you stack them vertically there's no weight that is unevenly distributed onto a corner of any kind so in doing that they're saving the panels from cracks and damage but when you take these out of the box, the panels all want to flop over one or the other direction. So it would be very wise to find a way to tilt the box at an angle before you start removing panels from it so that it favors a direction of lean so that you don't lose panels along the way. But needless to say, I got all of these, which I'm super excited about. These are called the speed mount. And a lot of people gave these kind of crap because of the way that they work are by drilling four holes per mount and each panel gets one on each corner and then they can share them with panels abutting to them on either side. So the panel below this one would share the same indexed corner here and so on and so forth. So these are really interesting. A lot of people don't like them because they say they put too many holes in the roof and I'll go over that in just a second and why I went with that solution and I'll go over the realities of what they're actually saying and what isn't so real. But needless to say, again, I stacked all the panels and tried to keep them as off weight as possible. Whole shipment just came in and you can see it's getting foggy in here. I had to switch to the zoomed in camera because my uh, wide angle camera is completely fogged. I wish I could show you that, but my phone got dropped in the water yesterday. It was a, it was a terrible day. It was a lot of unboxing, but otherwise great. It just took a really long time because I have a long dirt road and you know these are the complications you have to think through when you're planning out a giant system like this is how you're gonna get this to your house if you have a complicated delivery endpoint. So now we'll go kind of a little bit more into these attachment pieces. Now, like I said, some folks are upset about the idea that it punctures holes in the roof. And again, this is all going to be installed on my barn. So A, I'm not too worried about the idea of water intrusion. So I will obviously use sealant to prevent that from happening. But at the end of the day, those who think having too many holes in a roof is the reason to not use a system like that, it's kind of foolish. Because if you look, this is the 
underside, that's the sheathing of this roof, all of those nails come through from the shingles. So you're already putting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of holes through the surface of the sheathing and you're just covering it and making sure water doesn't enter that. So in the same sense, if you're conscious about how to do this properly, similar to a dish TV having their, you know, whatever receiver on your roof and they cock those as well, or they put sealant around them, you're not going to have leaks. There are hundreds of these nails everywhere and no water is coming through. And some of those shingles are covering them and some of the shingles have some little flaps that are blown up and the nail heads exposed but it's still sealed enough that nothing comes through. Now, again, if something were to leak, that would suck, but at the end of the day, it's not going to ruin the project because this is a barn. There's tons of water in here. There's poop on the floor. This is just how it is. So that's why I chose this building. I also like the idea of not having that much electrical equipment in the house. So again, those attachments, I'll go through those a little bit more in depth and how they go through and how to seal them and all of that. And we'll go over the installation, but I'm going to be doing this entire installation myself. And it is going to be a journey in how can you get something done? And there's my truck somehow managed to carry it all. And so did the tractor. So having the right equipment, having the right plan and uh, having the right resource. So signature solar has been awesome through this whole thing. Uh, keeping me updated. This was super fast delivery on their part. I placed this order on the 27th of June and it was the 11th of July that it landed at my house. And the only reason it took that long was because I live in such a rural location that the local distribution center where this is coming from, which is in Fayetteville, is um, they prioritize these long leg destinations for... Um, Ooh, that's really foggy, uh, for the end of their weeks. So this actually was available local, semi-local to me on the 6th. So their turnaround on all of this equipment was insanely fast, but I'll keep you posted. This is the update. Sorry about the foggy video. I'll have to get my other old phone and take some new content because this one is dead now. Shouldn't have dropped it in the water. Whoop, whoop, whoop.